in this video we're gonna go over integration by substitution so in case you are new to transcendent make sure you subscribe and like so that you're updated every time we have a new video okay so when do we get to use integration by substitution so we use integration by substitution when the fraction that you're given cannot be resolved into its partial fractions for example when they ask you to determine to determine the integral of x divided by the root of uh, x squared minus 9 so it's very difficult for you to resolve this fraction into the um, the partial fractions so what then should you do so you rate uh, what is down there to be equal to you so that if you differentiate it it will be able to divide with what is on the numerator there so let's try it out so let our u be equivalent to x squared minus 9 so our du dx is going to be what 2x okay so our goal is to make dx a subject so that we plug in there since we are trying to determine the integral in respect to x okay so if you cross and multiply du is going to be equivalent to 2x multiplied by dx and therefore our dx is going to be equivalent to du divided by 2x so if you get this part you plug in where there is dx there so we now have the integral of x divided by so now where we have x squared minus 9 we are saying it's equivalent to u so that's why most of the times it's called integration by u substitution so of course you can use any letter but u is a common used one so we have our u there then we are multiplying by this part which is equivalent to dx since we are saying there is dx there so it will be du over 2x so from there we are able to see that we can divide the x on top can cancel out with the one down so we've divided so what do we have we now have the integral so we now have 1 over 2 so I've gotten the 2 there because it's 1 over 2 so we have 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over the root of u there so this is a product then du so now we are trying to determine the integral of that so from the integral rules we are told that whenever you have a constant you can always remove it you still get the same answer so we plug it out we get the fraction there 1 over 2 then we remain with uh, multiply by the integral of 1 over the root of what u in respect to u so let's try to determine the integral of that so we know that whenever you have uh, a square root it's the same as the power 1 over 2 so we have 1 over 2 multiplied by the integral of 1 over u to the power 1 over 2 in respect to du so that can also be expressed uh, by taking it to a numerator there so the power becomes negative and wha what we're going to have is 1 over 2 then the integral of u to the power negative 1 over 2 in respect to du so from there we can now work with our power rule where we know that for the, with the power rule you just have to add okay you add the 1 to the power then divide by the result so 1 over 2 the integral the integral of u to the power negative 1 over 2 is going to be u okay so we have a power negative 1 over 2 plus 1 we're supposed to divide by that negative 1 over 2 plus 1 in respect to du there so what will be our result so what we're going to have as a result is uh, so in the moment you integrate that will disappear so what you're going to have is 1 over 2 so u negative 1 over 2 plus 1 is going to give us 
1 over 2. Then where we are dividing by 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2 plus 1, it's also going to be 1 over 2. So 1 over 2, the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is a 2. Okay, so what do we have now? So this is going to be 1. So the moment you add, actually, this is supposed to go. The integral is supposed to disappear. The moment you just uh, bring in the issue of uh, the powers there. Okay. So we have 1 over 2 multiplied by. So use the power 1 over 2 is the same as the square root again. So you can show that that will be the square root of u. Over what? So over. So we had 1 over 2 there. So we are saying the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is the same as it's the same as multiplying by 2. So when you multiply by 2, this is going to cancel out with one that was outside. And ultimately, our integral is therefore going to be the square root of u plus c. So we need to remember that initially we had said that let our u be equivalent to x squared minus 9. So we can now plug in that. So we can therefore say that our solution is going to be the square root of x squared minus 9 plus constant c. So that is our integral in this case. Okay. So this method is what we call integration by u substitution. Okay. Now, let's say you have the integral of x over the square root of 4 minus x squared in respect to dx. So just like we did from the first question, you can apply the same. You can pause the video and try it out. Okay. So what are we supposed to do? So as usual, make sure you choose something that can be you so that when you integrate it, it will be able to cancel out the numerator. So in this case, I will write again what is below the square root to be equal to u which is 4 minus x squared. So if I differentiate that, uh, my du is going to be minus 2x in respect to dx. So if I make dx to be a subject, in that case, my dx is going to be equivalent to du over what? Over negative 2x. Okay. So I'll move on to the next step where I'll say, okay, I know now that my denominator under the square root there is uh, u. So I'll put u from there. Then uh, where there is dx again, I'll put uh, du over that. So it's du over negative 2x. So we are clearly able to see that this will divide and will plug out the negative 1 over 2. So we are interested in determining the integral of what have remained with 1 over root of u in respect to du. Okay. Let's have some space there. So what do we have now? So negative 1 over 2. Remember we're trying to find the integral of uh, 1 over the square root of u. Okay. So we know that uh, the square root of 1 over u, uh, the root of 1 of u is the same as u to the power 1 over 2. Okay. So if it goes to the numerator again, we have negative 1 over 2, integral of u to the power negative 1 over 2, multiplied by du. So in that case, we know from the power rule again, we are just supposed to to add a 1 to the power and divide by the same. So we have u, negative 1 over 2 plus 1, divided by negative 1 over 2 plus 1, plus c. So that is the way we find our integral from the power rule. So in case you are not well acquainted with the basic, the basic integration, check out our video on that. Okay, so what we have now is we are remaining with negative 1 over 2, then u to the power, 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 2 plus c. Okay. So the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2. 
so we have negative 1 over 2 okay so dividing by 1 over 2 is the same as multiplying by 2 then multiplying by u to the power so u to the power 1 over 2 is the same as the square root of u plus c so in this case what we have is negative 1 over 2 by 2 is going to give us negative so we have negative u plus c now we understand that our u we are just had substituted initially so we have negative square root of our u was 4 minus x squared so 4 minus x squared then what do we have plus c so this is our integral of that expression okay so now the third one let's say we have um, the integral of x divided by root of uh, x plus 1 all right so this one um, how can you work on it so if you look at the denominator there if you let that one be equivalent to u u is equal to x plus 1 what you're going to have is when you differentiate that your du is going to be 1 so your dx is therefore going to be what is going to be du over 1 so which is just dx is equal to du so what is only going to change is that it's going to become d u so in that case we are not going to cancel the denominator the numerator and it's going to be hard for us to to work around with it so in such a case we need to way to approach the question differently but of course using substitution so all we are supposed to do is make sure that on the denominator there we should have only one thing okay only one thing should be on the denominator there. then we should have two things being added on the numerator so that we are able to split it into partial fractions okay so let's try to do that so what we're going to say is okay we now we've said that let our u be equivalent to, to to that so we need to substitute the, the x on top with something else as well so make x to be a subject so x is equal to if you make x to be a subject in that equation uh, the one is supposed to come the other side which will be u minus one okay so we now substitute what we have so say the integral of what is our x we are saying our x is equal to u minus what u minus one divided by what so the root of x plus one we are saying that is equal to u okay so we have the root of the root of u okay so from here we are able now to split this so it's going to be the, the integral of so first of all it will be u u over what u over the root of u okay then what else are we going to have minus one over root of u so from uh, uh, subtraction if you get the root of u to be the um, the common denominator what you are going to see is it's going to go back to that point so we are right then again from the integral laws we know that whenever you have either addition or subtraction you can distribute the integral to the two expressions and therefore what you are going to have is uh, the integral of that then uh, this one is also going to have its own integral like that okay so let's try to move on and see what we're going to have okay now create some space even there okay so if we move on what are we going to have okay so where you are dividing u by this part u divided by the root of u so from our sides what can we do you can multiply by the root of u on both sides on both the numerator and the denominator so root of u multiply by u divided by the root of u multiply by root of u so we're trying to rationalize the denominator there so this is supposed to be minus the integral of 1 over the root of u is the same as u to the power 1 over u to the power 1 over 2 okay so what can we do from there so whenever you multiply the the square root of uh, 
u by u you are going to have what is inside there so we now have the integral of so u multiplied by the roots of u on the numerator divided by u okay then this side you have the integral of so you can take this one to be the numerator and the power is going to be negative so we have u the power negative 1 over 2 so from there now so what we, this is going to divide you now just remain with um, u to the power to the square root of the square root of u which you can write to say that is the same as u to the power 1 over 2 so the integral of u to the power 1 over 2 so here there is actually a subtraction sign there so minus the integral of u to the power negative 1 over 2 so we can now integrate this at the same time so we integrate by the power rule so u is going to be half plus half over the same half plus 1 minus this one is as well it will be the same negative 1 over 2 plus 1 over negative 1 over 2 plus 1 okay so what should we expect to be our result in such a case so if you add 1 over 2 plus 1 what are you going to have so the shortest way of doing that is just by saying 1 over 2 plus 1 so you wanna multiply the 1 this side by the 2 you are going to have 2 2 plus 1 it's 3 so it's 3 over 2 so you are now have u the power 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 minus negative 1 over 2 plus uh, 1 is the same as 1 over 2 then you have 1 over 2 there so how can we reduce this okay so let's have some space here and we try to simplify it further so what we're going to have is uh, u to the power 3 over 2. Then whenever you're dividing by 3 over 2, you multiply by reciprocal. So it's going to be multiplied by 2 over 3. 2 over 3 minus. So the other part is going to be u. Whenever you're dividing by 1 over 2, you can multiply by reciprocal, which is going to be 2. So we now have 2 u to the power 1 over 2. Then this side, after multiplying, what are we going to have? We are going to have 2 over 3. Then uh, u to the power 3 over 2 minus 2. So whenever you have uh, a power 1 over 2, it's the same as the root of that. So we have root of u there. So from our initial start there, what did we say? We say that our u was actually equivalent to what? To remember, the question that we had, we had we had x over root over x plus 1 so we we said let our u be equivalent to x plus 1 so we have 2 over 3 our u is x plus 1 the power 3 over 2 minus 2 so root of x plus 1 plus c so this is our integral okay so you've made it to the end of our video if you liked it give us a comment and let us know the topic that you want us to cover. So thank you very much for watching. And have a good day.